Previously on The Biggest Loser, we said goodbye to Ryan. At home, Ryan's transformation continued. Since starting The Biggest Loser, I've lost a total of 109 pounds. There are nine players left on campus, and so far, the players have lost an incredible total of 946 pounds. Tonight, on The Biggest Loser, for the first time this season, a contestant will get to see their family. These are the highest stakes so far this season. And another player reaches the 100 pound weight loss mark, coming up tonight on The Biggest Loser. What have you done today to make you feel proud? It's never too late to try. What have you done today to make you feel proud? Yeah, we need a change. Yeah, do it today. Yeah, I can feel my spirit rising and change. Yeah, we need a change. Yeah, so do it today. Yeah. When you started this competition, there were 18 people. Half of you are gone. You've been at this for nine weeks. Nine weeks of grueling workouts, hard challenges, and incredibly emotional eliminations. But only one of you will win the title of The Biggest Loser and take home the Nabisco 100 calorie packs grand prize of $250,000 starting tonight. The deck is being reshuffled again, guys. The game is going to change one more time. As of right now, there are no more duos. From this point on, it's every player for themselves. Holy cow, I made it to singles, which for me was so stinking exciting. You only have one person you can count on to keep you in this game. And that person is you. I've waited for a singles week for a long time. Now it's really kill or be killed, and there's no one that can save you. So good luck, and I'll see you soon. Good night. Good night. Good night. So we're three? We're three. I thought so. How did it go last night? Give me the breakdown. We knew that there was nothing we could do to save Ryan. Okay. Okay, so what we did was, knowing that Ryan was going to go home anyway, we had the last vote for Ryan to send him off in the right way. Every vote was for Ryan. Every vote was right, for Ryan. Right, so why was your vote for Ryan? I don't understand. Bob was not happy at all about the fact that Ryan was gone, number one, but uh, he's very upset with me for voting Ryan off. I mean, the only thing I can think of, I think that you're playing a game, and that's me. And you know what? Of course you would. You're the guy that gained 17 pounds. I talked to Ryan. You're acting like I just came up with this out of the blue. I talked to Ryan. There's no way I could put down any, like, my teammate's name. No way. Bob's looking at us. Uh, Neil's playing game. Neil's starting to prepare for the next step of being here on campus, and that's just not the truth. Ryan has been my best friend on campus since day one, without a doubt. And to see him go home was tough, you know? It's just it's not something that uh, I wanted to see happen. You can do whatever you want, but I'm not stupid. OK. <laughs> Why is she still here? God, can't we get rid of her? I love you, too. I am so happy to be in singles. I asked Jillian the first day, when will this get easier? When will I make this mental shift? And I feel like I've made it. And I feel like I'm finally in the zone where I am ready to compete. Would you scoot over here, redheaded stepchild, and come sit with mommy? Yeah! Red shirted stepchild. <laughs> I think that the gameplay is going to increase every single week we're here. You know, I just have to try to take it one day at a time and, you know, uh, just try to kick it up a notch. And I also think that, you know, team colors will always exist. 
I mean, right now that you're in singles, I think the point of this now is you take out your threats, obviously. I never thought I would make it through week one. Everybody thinks I'm the weakest link, and even I believed that at the beginning. I'm here to prove that I'm not. The oh, biggest, no, the biggest crazy. threats are K, Neil, and B. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't think B's gonna fall below. I don't think I he is, do but if he, but if he did, he would be a legitimate threat. I mean, you would be silly not to take him out. Now that we're in singles, I knew that there was gonna be a target on my back. This game and my future here depends solely on me. Because if I'm above that yellow line, it doesn't make a difference how many ladies are in this game. I'm still here the following week. And that's all I'm counting on. I've decided I just wanted some closure. Having the red shirt on when, you know, I am a black team member, the constant reminder of the failure with Kim. It hurts me so bad when you look at me and act like I don't care that you're here. How I feel. What's hey. up? What's um, going on? I just wanted to give you this back. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to thank you for everything that you did for me. I wish you the best. Wow. Um, I just have to be honest with you and tell you that when I gave you this on day one, I, um, I made a commitment to you to help you change your life forever. I want you to keep this because, to me, I'm going to picture the Amy that was climbing mountains in this and did it for the team to bring them to victory, not the Amy who's quitting on her team and turning her back on her team. If and when you regret your decision, you know where to find me. But hang on to this because it should mean something to you. And I know that the team is going to be disappointed in you. We are. We're extremely disappointed. I don't think that everyone on this team is mad at me or thinks that I turned my back mad. on They're not mad. They're not mad. That's huge. They're disappointed in you. Absolutely, they're disappointed in you, as they should be, as I am. It's just that's not what a team is about. A team isn't about when it gets tough to turn around and run. When Amy gave me the red shirt today in the dorm, I was just insulted. I think she's going to seriously regret this decision for the rest of her life. Don't give back the shirt, because that's just a smack in the face to me. Good luck. So happy that I'm training with Jillian and just looking forward to more success with her. Jillian's just a better fit for me. You know what? You earned it. You know what this means? Extra special beating today. <laughs> oh, cool. Nice. In honor of the black shirt. Oh my god, that smells so good. You could just get this whiff of like this sweetness. The smell from outside, I mean, you could definitely tell it was some kind of baked delight. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a lot of donuts. Yum. Goodness. Mm. <laughs> the smell was just, like, intoxicating. You thought you were in a dream. There's a chocolate. That's my idea of heaven. When I eat donuts, I, I can, you know, I can run through a dozen without a problem, you know, back in a eh, half dozen, dozen, uh, without a problem. I know a number of you used to indulge in donuts. Julie, how good does it smell? Amazing, like a little piece of heaven. <laughs> I'm sure you've all heard the expression, dollars to donuts. Well, today you're going to be turning donuts into dollars in this temptation. I just saw thousands upon thousands of donuts sitting in front of me. When you're here on campus and you're doing nothing but healthy things all the time, working out and eating right, the sight of a donut is pretty, pretty tempting. Inside one of these donuts oh, no. is uh. a token worth $5,000. <laughs> Seeing that amount of donuts, I thought it could, it could get ugly in there. Everyone was a little bit nervous at that point, including myself. How long does it take to digest an average meal? 8 to 12 hours, 12 to 24 hours, 48 hours, or 48 to 72 hours? Stay tuned. The answer will be revealed after this commercial.
How long does it take to digest an average meal? The answer is 12 to 24 hours. Inside one of these donuts oh. nah. uh. is a token worth $5,000. Um. <laughs> wow. You will have one minute. If no one finds that lucky donut, we'll go another round. Yes. And another until someone finds it. Oh, my God. I graduated college a year ago, and it's really hard. I still have to pay my bills. What's the catch, Allison? To play, you've got to pay in calories. For every round you participate in, you will have to step up and eat one donut. Those donuts had to be like 300 calories a piece, at least. That was probably the most tempting of all the temptations so far. If you decide to play in a later round, you will have to eat the same amount of donuts as the people that played in every round. Isabel, you're gonna go first? Yes. There is no hesitation on my part at all. I decided I was definitely going to do it, at least the first round. I too will play. <laughs> I'm just trying to decide which one I want first. Oh, okay. Here. Donuts and all kinds of tempting food like that are gonna be out there. So you just have to either fit them into your calories or say, okay, I'm gonna eat that donut, but then I'm gonna have to, you know, work out for an extra half an hour. B, don't even have to ask, Holly. I'm really excited because I think 5,000 would help me visit my family in Korea and or pay for school. But again, I'm sticking to my word, it's not worth it. Good for you, kid. <sighs> Trust me, it's hard. Yes, $5,000 is a great price. Unfortunately, since I'm the smallest person here, I can't afford 300 calories. I've dreamt about diving into a big pile of donuts for years, so <laughs> I'm definitely in. <laughs> 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 That was the best donut I've ever had. No doubt. <laughs> ever. Hands down. Ever. All right, contestants, get ready. Go! <laughs> One minute, you guys. <laughs> Nicole seems to be getting through every single one she's in front of. <laughs> Neil's got a very methodical strategy he's working on. You guys have 30 seconds. 30 seconds? <laughs> I took my shoes off, so I was kind of squeezing with my feet as well. Isabel's got a table all to herself. <laughs> Ten seconds left, you guys. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. That's time. <laughs> hey, Neil. <laughs> all right, so it's not just $5,000, Kay. It's a lot of fun out there. You want to be in round two? I want you so bad. I mean, $5,000, but I have to stick to my word. Round one is over. The cash has yet to be discovered. If you want to participate in round two, that will require you eating one more donut. Nicole, are you in? You know what? I had a blast, um, but it is a lot of calories, so I had fun, but I'm going to sit this one out. Eating one donut, it was good, it was delicious. And then after that, I decided, you know, it wasn't worth it. I'm definitely in. I'm in for one more round. Almost everybody decided to play the second round, so I decided I had to follow suit. And um, we all had another minute. Ready? Get set. Go! Come on, guys, 45 seconds. Ooh. Bill. My back! <laughs> Come on. Come on. You are not looking carefully enough. You are missing a whole donut. Ten seconds left, you guys. Come on. Ah! Time's up. Ah! Dang it! I might be done. Guys. Well, we are now going to round three. Something to consider. If you wish to participate in this round, there is no time limit. Oh, crap. We will keep at it until someone finds the donut with this token worth $5,000. I was gonna cut myself off there, but then unlimited time is worth a few extra calories. Okay, if you wanna participate, you will have to eat three donuts. Nicole, if you wanna participate in round three, you'll have to eat two donuts. Everyone else, round three, one more donut. $5,000. 
I'll do what I have to do. I'm gonna buy my wife some shoes with five G's. Oh, Julie, you're out? I had a calorie allowance, and I set it, and I've met it, and I can't do anymore. I have to keep going. Party started. <laughs> it's not worth it right now, so I'm gonna pass again. For me, I kind of did a thought about it. I'm like, I'd say roughly 300 calories a donut, and I'm sure Bob wouldn't be happy with me eating a donut, but at the same point in time, it is five grand, so why not? Are you ready? Get set. Go! Oh, you have all the time in the world. Find that donut. Leave no donut unturned. There you go! I was just tearing through them, and I apparently missed one spot directly in front of me. And of course, Bill found the $5,000 chip. Who wins a car on $5,000 in less than a week? It's pretty unbelievable how fate works out sometimes. I'm gonna take the $5,000, I'm gonna put it right into some college funds for my kids. Congratulations, Bill. Thank you very much. And to all of you who are tempted, well, I can only imagine how hard you all be working at the gym to get ready for your next challenge. I'll see you guys soon. Good night. Good night. Coming up. The contestants face their toughest challenge yet. These are the highest stakes so far this season. And a shocking twist. The prize for the winner is a 24-hour trip home. I have so much more confidence because we went to singles. You can focus so much more on just yourself and the results that come up and that way in, you know it was because what you have done. And now it's like, it's game on. Stakes are higher and the game has changed. Now it's the time you start putting more money where your mouth is. I'm not ready to go home. Just when you're at your breaking point, you don't think that you can take it anymore. The people who find a way to pick themselves up and keep pushing are the ones who are the most successful in the end. And uh, that's all I'm trying to do. We walked into 24 Hour Fitness and um, we saw Allison standing in front of a whole line of uh, spin bikes. Normally I just hate to see the spin bikes. So I was a little nervous. I really didn't know what to expect. Well, you all look ready, determined, to face your first challenge as individuals. Tonight, the nine of you are going to be competing in a 24-kilometer indoor triathlon. I thought I was dreaming because she said triathlon. And I'm not really good at the metric system, but I knew 24 kilometers was a very long time. In case you're wondering, 24 kilometers is just shy of 15 miles. Triathlons consist of cycling, running, and swimming. The first six players to cycle 20 kilometers on the stationary bicycles will move on to the treadmills. The first three players to run 3K will then continue on to the swimming pool. And the first player to swim one kilometer wins. Since you guys are competing in a 24 kilometer race, in a 24 hour fitness gym, it only makes sense that the prize for the winner is a 24 hour trip home. Oh my God. The winner of this triathlon gets to go home tomorrow and spend an entire day with their families. I miss my family and my kids, you know, uh, so much that, you know, it brings me to tears at times. I know I can win this. You may be worried that going home, you're gonna be losing a full day at the gym, which could put you at risk in the whole game. So we've decided that you don't have to worry about that because the winner will also receive immunity at the next elimination. 
immunity at this stage of the game means everything. You're in singles, and any week you can stay here an extra week is a, is a big plus. Finally, the winner of this triathlon will have the power to make a very important decision, which you'll find out about after the challenge. These are the highest stakes so far this season. So, give it your all. Are you ready? Let's do it, Asa. Absolutely. Let's do this. Most fat people don't run triathlons. I know for a fact it's going to be the absolute hardest thing I've ever had to do. But there's nothing that's going to stop me from winning this challenge. I need that prize. Ready? Set. Go! <laughs> This is for 20K. You're thinking speed, but you want to make sure you go the distance, too. Bill, the first one to make it to one kilometer. K is right behind him. The only six continue on to the treadmills. Brian's at 1K. Isabeau's going slow and steady. Julie just made it to a K. Remember, guys, this is for 24 hours with your family and immunity this week. K's at five kilometers. K's in the lead. Just winning one challenge would just be nice because I worked this hard and I want to show people how far I've come since the beginning. Nicole, Bill, Kay, all in the front here, leading the pack. Holly's at seven kilometers. Neil's at seven kilometers. Kay just made halfway. Kay is at 10 kilometers. You're all still in this. Remember, six of you will continue on to the treadmills. I want this more than anything, I think. I possibly have ever wanted in my life. Right now, I'm missing my husband most of all. I would give anything just to see him for five minutes. Everyone determined to see their family, determined to win that immunity. Kay is at 17. Nicole is at 17. Three kilometers left. Kay, Nicole, you've got the end in sight. Bill, Nicole, Kay is still in the lead. Kay is at 19 kilometers. She's got one kilometer left. Nicole's at 19K. 20! K, you're done. Off to the treadmills. Five spots left. It's anyone's game. You guys gotta fight for this. Remember what you're playing for. Nicole, you're done. To the treadmill. Four places left. Bill, you're done. Holly, you're under the treadmill. Two spots left. Two spots left at a chance to see your family for 24 hours. You're all still in this. B, you're done. Neil, that's it. We've got six competing at the treadmill. Come on, guys, let's watch them. So the second stage is treadmills, and there's six of us. It's Kay, myself, Bill, Holly, B, Neil. And I'm going to push myself as much as I can, keep running, don't stop, and see what happens. Is everyone ready? Yes. Yep. And you understand the rules. You have to complete three kilometers on this treadmill. And the top three will make it to the swimming pool for the final round of this triathlon. For me, running is its so difficult. And I have a pretty extensive swimming background. So I just kept telling myself, if I can make it to the swimming, then I'll be fine. On your mark, get set, go. Kay's got it up to a run. Bill's at a run. Holly's running. B is still walking. Remember, you are fighting for the chance to go home, see your families for the day, and have immunity at the next weigh-in. Hey, is the first one to make it half a kilometer with Bill right behind her. Every single day I'm here, I miss my family. While I'm here, I'm here to do myself proud, I'm doing, here to do my family proud, and I hope that that's what I'm doing. Only three people can make it on to the final round. B is at 1.5. He's in third place right now. Holly, you are in a race with B for third place. Someone's going to have to make a move. You're going to have to step up if you want to fight for that third position. I miss my family. I miss my wife tremendously. To be able to, to win this would be, you know, amazing. And it's definitely, you know, a motivating factor for the game. This is it. Holly, B, this is your chance to fight it out for third place. Neil, Nicole, right behind him. Holly, the 2.5. You guys fight it out. Kay, you're done. You won. K, 
Kay has won the first two legs. She is onto the swimming pool. Come on, Holly, Holly, push it. Bill, you're done. You're onto the pool. Holly, B, you are in this. Fight it out. They are neck and neck. B, you gotta fight for this. Gotta fight for your family, both of you. money do Americans spend on dietary supplements each year? 3 million, 1 billion, 14 billion, or 10 million? Stay tuned. The answer will be revealed during the commercial break. How much money do Americans spend on dietary supplements each year? The answer is 14 billion. with B for third place. 24 hours with your family and immunity at the next elimination. Come on, Holly, come on, Holly! You got your friends cheering you on, Holly. B is right behind her. They are neck and neck. B, you gotta fight for this. Gotta fight for your family, both of you. That's it, Holly. You are in third place. You have a place in that pool with Bill and Kay. All of a sudden, I heard someone yell, Holly, Holly won. And she beat me by like point some odd seconds. And I was definitely frustrated that I allowed myself to lose, not because someone else beat me. Good job, Mama. So this is it. Down to one kilometer, which is 40 lengths of the pool. One of you will win the chance to go home and visit your family for 24 hours and immunity. All right, you got your friends to cheer you on. Let's do this. Get in the water. I was thinking, OK, I'm going to try my best, even though I'm not a strong swimmer. I was really nervous because I knew that since Holly was a swim coach, that she would have a greater advantage in this field. All right, this is it. Kay, Holly, Bill, on your mark. Get set. Go! Holly's the lead, Bill right behind her, Kay's in third place. Holly's completed one length. Bill's turning around, Kay right behind him. Holly, the first one to complete two laps. That's my girl! Bill's turning around, he's on lap three. Kay's falling behind, but she's still in this. Kay in there, Kay! Holly's pulling away from Kay, and Bill, she's completed six laps. She swims like a fish. Come on, Kay! Only 32 and a half more to go. Okay. Holly's in the lead. She's a quarter of the way there. Bill's got some catching up to do. He's going to stay in this. Bill's on lap nine. Holly, Kay, Bill, remember, you are playing for the trip to go home. You're playing for immunity this week. Holly, that's the halfway mark. You are halfway there. Holly amazes me. Holly is my new hero. Doing a good job, Bill. Keep going. Come on, Kay. Doing great. Holly, you are on lap 26. Bill is five laps behind you. Holly's holding on to the lead, but Bill is making her work for it. Holly, that's 30. 10 laps left. She's determined to see her family. She's determined to get that immunity. 34, Holly. You have six laps left. 38. Two more laps. Good job. Come on, Holly. Holly, you're in the home stretch. Oh, that's you it. One up. lap, Holly. Cycled for 20 kilometers, ran for three, and then swam your last kilometer. You get to go home, spend 24 hours with your family, and you have immunity at the next weigh-in. Congratulations. I just completed a 24-kilometer triathlon. I've done things that I never thought I could do physically and mentally, and it's like overwhelming because I can't believe that I did it. Good job. Good job, Bill. Nice. Coming out here in 10 weeks, from barely being able to get out of, out of bed to doing a triathlon. I just can't wait for my family to see this, because they're going to be real proud. Congratulations, Holly. You are officially the winner of the 24-hour fitness triathlon. It's a good feeling. <laughs> but as I mentioned earlier, you have also won something else. Holly, you have won the power to give another player of your choice, 
a 24-hour trip home and immunity oh at God. this week's wedding. Wow. That's huge. Do I have to pick right now? I've really hoped for family visits for a long time. I think to go home and sleep in my own bed and be with my boyfriend, I think it would be amazing. It's a lot of responsibility because you can choose a friend, someone that you know needs this prize, or an ally that can help you later in the game. What are you thinking about? So many things. It's a huge decision and not one that I feel comfortable with. I wish everybody could go home and see their families and have immunity. Part of me really wanted to choose somebody who was missing their family, who would need that extra boost. Then there's also part of me, you know, that's thinking, I need to make sure that, you know, I get to the end. Is there any strategic way I can choose someone? Holly? Yes. Who do you choose? Oh, my God. I know you guys all want to see your families, but uh, I have to do it the way I always said I would do it from the game point. And so I think that the person that I'm gonna pick an unstable surface to any basic exercise makes it more challenging. And if you don't have a stability disc, you can make your own by rolling up a towel and using one foot. Holly? Yeah. Who do you choose? Oh my god. I know you guys all want to see your families, but oh, I have to do it the way I always said I would do it. Thinking about from the game point, and so I think that the person that I'm going to pick is Julie. Come on over here, Julie. <laughs> wow, that was nice. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't feel bad. It was sad to think that there were going to be two people who were going home to see their family. And it wasn't me, especially with, you know, how much I miss my husband and my girls. Well, Holly and Julie, it looks like you're both headed home. <laughs> you're gonna get the chance to see your families, spend 24 hours with them. Holly chose me! <laughs> I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm going home. I was so excited. But when you come back, you will be participating in our next weigh-in. And if you have gained weight, your immunity is gone. Part of me is, is a little nervous about gaining weight because that's always a fear, especially when you take a couple of days off. But hoping that that won't be an issue with me and that I actually can, you know, enjoy the reward that I was given. Look at yourselves. You've done a lot of work. You should all be very inspired by what you've accomplished. But remember that right now you have to focus on the next win. And I will see you soon. Bye, you guys. You know, I'm hoping that people don't hold a grudge about it, and I think in the long run that I made the best possible choice. The best part about leaving campus for me is just getting to see my friends. God, Holly. Hey. I was really excited to see Anton because we've been friends for so long. God, you look phenomenal. Thank you. I've definitely struggled my weight for a really long time. Anton has too, and honestly, it's not something that we've ever really talked about before. I feel like a friend since the last time you saw me. Yeah, that's amazing. You are an inspiration. I am so proud, and I, I'm gonna be next to you the whole time. For me to inspire you is like a whole different. Thing. Like, that's more more important to me than, you know, inspiring all the people I don't know. But it feels good, and it makes me, like, want to keep going, too. Even the fact that she, like, wants to make a change and is looking at the things that I can do, like, to me, that that's more important than anything because that, in the long run, is what's going to, like, change our lives. So not just mine, but, but hers, too. Tomorrow, I think definitely think we should work out. You know, Jillian's my trainer, and... She's a little crazy, and I think it's rubbed off on me a little bit, so 
yeah, we'll see what happens then. Okay? I can't wait. I'm excited. <laughs> Fantastic to be home, and um, I want to really stay focused. But at the same time, I'm dying to see my family. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! When you walk back into your home and you see your child that you haven't seen in three months. I don't think there are words that could describe how it feels. Did yeah. you miss me? You uh, did? Too much. You miss me too much? Do I look different? Mm-hmm. I do? I couldn't believe how different the transformation was. It was very noticeable, amazing. It was great just to be with her and, and grab her and hug her and uh, very, very good feeling. Look, your arms go all the way around. Did you notice that? It was fantastic to see my husband and to see the look in his eyes and, you know, take a still picture of it in my mind because I was like, this is what it looks like when your husband is proud of you. Is the house clean? <laughs> yes. So can you tell us how much you've lost so far? 38. Oh, my God. I, I am extremely proud of Julie. But I don't think I, that I really knew how strong she was. I just... Uh, I'm busting at the seams with pride for her and what she's done. We're gonna make a lot of changes. Daddy looks fantastic, though. How much weight have you lost? Uh, 28 pounds. Daddy lost 28 pounds? I think that we're gonna make a fresh new start and a brand new life, and and there's no words to describe that. Family hug. Uh, hi, I get mommy. <laughs> How many pounds of peanut butter do Americans eat each year? 100 million pounds, 300 million pounds, 500 million pounds, or 700 million pounds? Stay tuned. The answer will be revealed during the commercial break. How many pounds of peanut butter do Americans eat each year? The answer? Americans consume 700 million pounds of peanut butter a year. That's enough to coat the floor of the Grand Canyon. Before I left, Mike and I probably ate out five to six times a week. So I knew that when I came home, I had to find some healthy alternatives to eating out. He's going to have the Fresh Fit kids meal, and he wants turkey. I always knew beforehand that Subway had, you know, really good choices. But when I went in, it was amazing. They had like eight sandwiches that were under six grams of fat. I'm so nervous leaving campus because it's like, you know, what do I eat? Mm -hmm. Everything's been laid out for me, so. Right. Well, this is where real life begins and you actually put into action what you learned. It was nice to go to a place where I felt completely safe eating. Good job. Are you? <laughs> you are hot tamale, aren't you? <laughs> when I first walked up behind Tara, I didn't know how she was going to react. She looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was not expecting this. Really? Oh my gosh, you look really good. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I just started shaking and crying. Just seeing her and that smile, and that's still Holly, but half of her. Wow. <laughs> she just seemed like really shocked and. It was a good feeling, like I said, because you're thinking there must be a difference if people are reacting this way. Okay, do you want to eat? Yes. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. You're hot. You're phenomenal. You're hot tamale. It's phenomenal. You, can you get whatever you want, or do you have a, a strict? Well, you're not going to get like a burger and fries. Oh, no. <laughs> Every once in a while, we get like some crazy food, but. You know, when you go to a restaurant, you're thinking, how am I going to really do this in real life? And then the pizza marinara. No cheese. No cheese. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but it wasn't that hard, you know? You just modify everything that you're eating, and I didn't miss any of the old things that I used to eat. Guys, okay, so your, your whole life has totally changed. Everything I eat. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 
Polly's eating habits have just changed completely. You know, learning, not having cheese on the pizza and still being just as satisfied. And it's unbelievable the changes of choices that Holly's made for herself. And then days when, days I'm gonna eat this, you can do that, just every once in a while. It's all moderation. It's just so nice to know that she can do it. You know, anyone can. Love ya. Love you too. Hey. Oh, no. It was well, quite a challenge yesterday. Yeah. Tell me everything. And it was a 24 kilometer triathlon. So Holly won. And then at the end, they were like, in your special prizes, you get to pick one other person to go home, see their family for 24 hours, and have immunity. So she picked Julie. It's a smart choice. Yeah. Holly and Julie won the challenge this week. Obviously, with the immunity, we want to use that to our advantage. I thought we were going to have a good week. Amy, honey. What is it? Talk to me. Amy was really upset. I understand why Hallie picked who she did, but I was very disappointed I didn't get chosen. Amy, I need you to put this in perspective, honey. I need you to stay focused on your workouts. Because in one breath, you're like, I don't want to go home, I don't want to go home, I don't want to go home. But in the next breath, you're like, you'll do anything to leave. Amy's been diligent. She's been focused. She, she wants to go home and see her family. And she keeps talking about wanting to go home. And I needed to say to her, OK, let's look it in the face now. Let's face it down. Let's deal with it. And then let's move on from this. And just remember that you, know, you came here to do something. You stay focused on that. I am really scared that right here is going to be under the yellow line. I'm really the two scared. of you? Yes. I'm very nervous about that. <sighs> Baby, I find that highly unlikely. I am. It's uh, getting down to the wire here, and it's just very nerve-wracking and stressful. And uh, I'm just hoping to put up a good number. If you want to be above that line, let's go to the gym. Agreed? Let's go. All right, you guys ready? I this guess is where so. my first workout, one of my first workouts took place. I want a chance to work my husband out because Mr. I lost 28 pounds. I want him to see what life with Jillian is like. Go, Noah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You know, as Florida people, the beach has always represented really happy memories, a lot of fun and recreation. Uh, today, not so much. Two, three, four, you got ten, five. I mean, I'm embarrassed to admit that she whipped my butt all over the sand. And uh, after just a little while of doing what she does every day, all day long, I was beat. Come on! My dad almost passed out. It was so funny. <laughs> you ready? I am five foot two and he is six foot one, and I wore him out like a little sixth grade girl. Sad, pitiful. We just got started. Uh, I'm about through. <laughs> Today, Holly took me to the gym, and I was able to somewhat see and experience what life has been like for her. Come get started. Breaking the sweat. That's awesome. This is hard. You're doing good. It was so much harder than I ever would have given it credit for. A little bit faster. It was just interesting, because I could totally relate to how tough it was for her, because I can think back to the first few weeks that I began working out, and I had a really hard time. How did you push yourself through the first day? I didn't. I cried, like, all day. And she, like, dragged me and pushed me and yelled at me and made me do it. Having Holly there to encourage me is so helpful, more than she knows. You're doing amazing. Eventually, this will be nothing. Three, two, one, again. Yay! I was on there for 20 minutes. and. It was really, really hard afterwards. I thought I was gonna throw up. Mm -hmm. Can you sit down for a minute? Yeah, my legs are. I feel like they're gonna give way a little bit. I see why people can get quit. I see why people can give up. Let's take a deep breath. But trusting in her words was huge. It was huge. I think you're gr doing great. I think it's awesome. I know, but you work up to it, you know? Yeah. And I'll definitely work out with you when I get home. It'll be fun. <laughs> 
I definitely see myself in her because I know that it can be really tough to, to start something that you're not used to. And she has a good start. My legs don't like you right now. Jillian would be so proud. Which activity burns the most calories in one hour? Golfing, hopscotch, juggling, or vacuuming and mopping? Stay tuned. The answer will be revealed after this commercial. Which activity burns the most calories in one hour? The answer is B, hopscotching. Hopscotching for one hour can burn up to 350 calories or one ice cream bar. to them was gut-wrenching to say the least but um, I wasn't saying goodbye without hope well go finish what you started baby. I love you I feel proud of you <laughs> she has worked her butt off literally and uh, she's made a great sacrifice to do what she's doing and uh, so I'm proud of her it's gonna be hard to say goodbye but it won't be for long I love you and no I for once am going to finish what I start and although leaving them is hard I have to leave them to finish it we'll be good Black team! let's go last chance come on ass down better there we go much better our last chance workout is always pretty brutal uh, today it was no different. Ass down, get that butt down. And if anything, worse than every other week. Bill, get down or I'll sit on your back and you'll have to do it. I just dreaded the last chance workout. I have so much pain in, in muscles I didn't even know that I had. Up, last one. Mountain climb, <sighs> hit it. <sighs> Julie and Holly being home seeing family, there was only three of us for her to, you know, pound into the ground. You're not gonna do that, just come on, go. Chance workout, B. Brian's the red team's last hope right now. He's my last hope. He's relying solely on his efforts. He has taken that pressure and turned it into something amazing. Roscoe. Right now, I'm the last member of the red team. <laughs> oh, that one hurt. And um, like I said, I'll do whatever she tells me to do to make sure that I'm here for the red team and for myself and for her as long as possible. Overall, I could not have asked for more from him this week. Last chance workout today is going to be so brutal. Harder. And I am going to ride them harder than they've ever thought. How bad do you want it, Neil? You just keep going. Last chance workout was the most miserable experience of my life this week. 10 more. Every week I find myself wondering if it can get me harder, and Bob always finds a new way to make it harder. That's it. Do it again. Last chance workout, Kay. I think everybody, no matter what team you're on, has bumped up their activity because they know it's singles. Anyone could go below the yellow line. Uh, ah! two. Come on, Nicole. My three guys are going to have to bring it because it's the only way I know to try to keep them above that yellow line. Ah! Again. Walking into the weigh-in, I was actually pretty nervous this week. I was kind of dragging most of the week, and I think I was really fatigued. But unfortunately, you're at a point in time in the game now where you're in singles, and you can't afford to have a bad week because you're going home. I am so happy to be in singles. No matter who wants to throw a weigh-in or involve gameplay, it's not going to affect me. That's the best feeling in the world. Welcome, everyone, to your first weigh-in as individuals. So here's the drill. The most important thing to remember is that you need to stay above that yellow line. The two people with the lowest percentage of weight loss will fall below the yellow line and will be up for elimination. And the rest of you will have to send one or the other home. Now tonight, two players are immune, assuming that you didn't gain any weight. Holly? 
How was it to see Antonetta? Um, it was really good. She was excited to see me. She definitely could see some changes in me. And I found out that I have friends at home that are, you know, being inspired by what we're all doing here and are starting to make healthy changes for themselves. And it was just nice to be able to kind of get away for a little bit and refocus and come back with kind of a new vengeance to go all the way to the end. Julie. It was great to go home and to realize why I'm here in the first place. Um, I saw my son and he hugged me and his arms went all the way around me. So that was a first and it was, it was nice. Did he comment on a difference in you? <laughs> yes, he was like, Mommy, you're getting skinny, <laughs> which was, you know, really sweet. It was a lot of fun. Julie, Holly, we're going to start with you. Remember, if you gain weight this week, your immunity is void. So, Julie, we're going to start with you. Why don't you come up, get on the scale. This is the one weigh-in when I shouldn't be nervous, and I'm more nervous than I ever have been at a weigh-in. My home wasn't prepared for the type of food that I eat here. I didn't get to exercise like everybody else. And so I'm really, really scared about what's going to happen tonight. Julie, when you started this competition, you weighed 218 pounds. Your current weight is? Julie, your current weight is 180 pounds. Immunity is still yours. You know, to be honest, it's embarrassing to see the same number that you saw last week. I still have a lot to learn, obviously. And I know that um, I need to be here so that the next time I go home, that doesn't happen. Thanks, Julie. Hmm. Holly? Now it's your turn to weigh in. With Julie having a zero, it made me more nervous about myself, just because I was nervous about being home, eating out, socializing with friends. I didn't know if that would counterbalance all the working out I had done previously. Holly, when you started this competition, you weighed 255 pounds. Your current weight is? minutes would you have to jump rope to burn off a 12-inch pepperoni pizza? 30 minutes, 120 minutes, 50 minutes, or 90 minutes? The answer after the break. Holly, remember, if you gain weight this week, your immunity is void. Current weight is 212 pounds. You lost zero pounds this week. You still have your immunity. I didn't gain any. That was the, I was really scared about that because when you go home and you're there to socialize with people and all your meals are out, to know that I still have my immunity right now, it, 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 it's a relief. <sighs> it's actually a really good feeling for me because by taking Julie and myself out, almost everyone here is a threat to us. So hopefully I made the right move. Bill, why don't we start with you? You seem a little nervous. What's going on? You know, I, um, I'm so close to one of my personal goals today. What is the goal? Oh, well, it's 100 pounds. I need eight pounds. I know that that's asking a lot. Keep my fingers crossed. Well, come on. Let's get up okay. here. Okay. Bill, when you started training with Jillian, you weighed 334 pounds. Your current weight is? Months ago, it's you know it, hard to go up the stairs, and now I'm sitting here, 100 pounds lighter, and some of the things I'm doing, I never really could have thought I could do. It's, it really feels great. You earned it, buddy. Thanks, bro. It turned out to be a dream come true for me today. I knew I'd have a good amount of weight, but I was really hoping for the eight-pound mark so that I could hit 100 pounds weight loss. 
and uh, I got it right on the nose. So it was, um, it was a great week for me. It was really rewarding. You lost eight pounds this week with a total percentage of weight loss of 3.31%. Tell us your turn. One bad week and your whole future at campus is at risk. At least when you're in teams or trios or doubles, you had another person to lean on. Now in singles, it's just about you. And that's the hardest thing to deal with. Nicole, when you started this competition, you weighed 279 pounds. Your current weight is? Current weight is 222 pounds. You lost seven pounds this week. This is awesome. I, um, you know, I felt like, you know, that I, I put a lot in this week, and you know, Bob kicked my butt like usual. So uh, it feels, it feels really good. It really does. Luckily, the scale was my really good friend tonight, and I did really well. For me, I've never been thin ever, and you know, I'm, I'm not there yet. But I just have seen that I've actually made progress, and it's a pretty cool feeling. You lost. Seven pounds this week with a total percentage of weight loss of 3.06%. And now it's Neil's turn. Let's do it. I was actually pretty nervous this week. Bob mentioned to me that he's always concerned about when it's finally going to be the week where Neil doesn't put up big numbers anymore. Neil, when you started this competition, you weighed 421 pounds. Your current weight is? Your current weight is 311 pounds. You lost 10 pounds wow. this week. Congratulations. Thank you. Bill and I definitely have some really friendly competition. I hit 100 pounds first, and he hit 100 pounds soon after. And it's kind of some gamesmanship on both of our parts. Be the best in this game, I have to beat the best. I think I kind of use that to fire myself and motivate myself every day. Neil, you lost 10 pounds this week. Your total percentage of weight loss is 3.12%. Well, with two people below you, Bill, you are officially saved from this week's elimination. Amy, let's see how you did this week. I've really tried to pick it up this week even more than, you know, I already have. And I'm really thinking that, you know, all the effort I've put in is gonna, is gonna reflect on the scale. Amy, when you started this competition, you weighed 297 pounds. Your current weight is? Your current weight is 242 pounds. You lost three pounds this week. It's hard when, you, uh, you know, the effort you put in doesn't reflect, isn't reflected in the numbers, but, you know, I uh, ran more than I have uh, so far. And, uh, and it's just the way it happens sometimes, so keep going. It's disappointing because you know, it's always my fear that the, uh, the effort you put in isn't going to be reflected by the numbers on the scale, and I did fear that yellow line. You lost three pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.22%. Isabeau, it is your turn to get on the scale. Okay. I was really nervous for Isabeau because I was like, Holly and I have immunity. We're going to have to save Isabeau again. Good night, the girl's been up for elimination about 15 times. Isabeau, when you started this competition, you weighed 298 pounds. Your current weight is? Hey, I'm back on my 5-8 pattern. <laughs> no, I'm really, really relieved. I was, I'm watching everybody else running like miles. And you know, I had to kind of find alternative exercises to do. So I was a little nervous about my number, but I'm, I'm really happy with the five. Well, your current weight, Isabeau, is 241 pounds. You lost five pounds this week. <laughs> Isabeau, you lost five pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.03%. We have two players left to weigh in. B, last week you lost 11 pounds. To push Amy below the yellow line, you will need to have lost more than three pounds. You look like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders right now. I'm very nervous. 
myself, Kim, the rest of the guys not here, I mean, I don't want to be the reason that we're extinct. Let's get you up here. B, when you started this competition, you weighed 346 pounds. Your current weight is... B, push Amy below the yellow line. You will need to have lost more than three pounds. B, your current weight is 276 pounds. You lost two pounds this week. Lost weight. It's definitely not what I need to stay above the line. Um, but I lost weight. Unfortunately, you know, the numbers just didn't show up for me this week. I'm the last person that's with the red team. If I'm blessed enough to be here another week, I'll definitely keep on hammering. You lost two pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 0.72%. I'm sorry, B, but you have fallen below the yellow line. There's only one person left to weigh in. So as the last member of the red team, you are definitely facing elimination this week. Still lost 70 pounds since I've been here. I'm proud of that. The question is, will it be Kay or Amy in the elimination room with you? Kay, last week you lost five pounds. This week you need to have lost more than one pound in order to push Amy below the yellow line and keep yourself above it. Okay, you have shown consistent weight loss each week. What do you think about when you face getting up on that scale tonight? I try to stay positive because I know that I've given everything that I could, but I'm always nervous that sometimes it's not enough. Let's see how you did, Kay. The more weight I'm losing, I know the numbers are going to grow smaller. It's so nerve-wracking because you don't know what to expect. When you first started this competition, you weighed 225 pounds. Your current weight is. OK, your current weight is 159 pounds. You lost four pounds this week. I was kind of nervous at that. It'd be a lot lower, but I'm very grateful. I was just grateful for each pound that, that was up there. And I just, I got excited, like, you know, I'm here for one more week. And that means that I have to push myself a little bit further. Well, congratulations, Kay. You have kept yourself safe here for another week. You are above the yellow line. Amy, B, I'm sorry to tell you that you both are below the yellow line and up for elimination. Everyone else, you have until tomorrow night to decide who is weighing you down. I will see you all then. Being under the line with like your best buddy in the house is a horrible feeling. I don't know how it's going to turn out tomorrow night, but you know, having the support of the black team is definitely an advantage. Hi. What happened? Are you below the line or not? We're all below. That's funny. What's the deal? It's me. With? With? Oh. That's good for us, yes? One, two, three, four, and they have three. With Amy below the line, I thought that she would be pretty safe. So if we can all decide the same thing, then... If we can agree done. on it. Why would anyone take out Amy over B? Somebody? Anyone? Izzy? As one of the weaker people in this game right now, I just feel like if I go home, I want to go home knowing that everybody here wants to be here as much as I do. And you that's... Want to and, be here. And, and that's the only thing I was questioning about her. But it's just difficult when I've heard someone say that they want to go home. You want to be here, correct? Yes. I think that I should be here because I, I want a woman to win. And the more women that are here, the bigger chance um, one of us has of winning. At the end of the day, like, you also need to play this game for you. Amy, you could compete with. B is a massive threat. I, and I think Amy is, too. Are you kidding? 
this vote is very hard for me because personally, I don't think I would make the same decision as Jillian would want me to. It's really one of the first times I've ever not trusted myself. Ultimately, he's a bigger threat, obviously. And we know that, and it's fine. Do it. I'm do Okay. Talk to Bill, too. You know, I like B. I think B is a great guy. Because I like B so much, I find him to be a huge threat to the members of my team. Let's make a DLT. We are good. Both of these competitors, Amy and B, um, are really, I consider them both very much a threat. What's going on with you? Why are you being weird? I'm not being weird. I'm, I'm just undecided. What are you doing? I don't understand. This guy was a 2XL when he was in sixth grade. She was a size five four years ago. She's lost 57 pounds. He's lost 70. She's beating him. You now, the obvious threat is B. You know, it would seem shocking to me that people would send Amy home over B, and it's, it's very clearly a, a personal thing. My vote doesn't matter because Isabel is already voting her out, and she's lying her ass off to you. Isabel would not lie to me. You know, I, I worked as hard as I possibly could this week. If I get eliminated, I think that'll be a biggest loser first. That one team was totally eliminated before the end of the show. Above or below? Below. Shut up. Are you kidding me? No. I was an emotional wreck. It's really important that Brian stays. I need him just as bad as he needs me right now. It'll be interesting to see what happens at the elimination because I know there's a lot of people in this house that really care about you and think that you deserve to be here and you've worked hard from day one. If I am eliminated, I can leave here knowing that I didn't quit and I didn't, you know, half-ass any way through and, you know, it just wasn't my week with the weight. I've lost 70 pounds since I've been here. You've lost 70 pounds and if you go home, you're still going to lose weight and you're still going to continue your journey. You're just going to go home a little earlier than I'd have liked you to. I think there's a lot of people in this house that are going to realize that you deserve to stay. I hope so. I'm not sure exactly how the house really feels right now, but the elimination tonight, it just seems like it's kind of torn, it's divided. Nothing against Amy, but I think she deserves to go home, and I don't think B does. Put yourself in B's shoes for one second. You're going to go home knowing that somebody else who wants to go home is still here working out when that should be you. Do I think he's more deserving? Probably. There's not a single person at this table at some point in time. She hasn't tried to stab in the back, and I have myself included. No, I agree. I know that. Three out of the four black team members want to vote for B. I think it really comes down to the fourth uh, vote. So who's going to end up sending who home? Isabel's still on the fence. And if you want my honest opinion, you got to fight, dude. you I mean, got to sit to down. you got to talk to her. You sit her down and lay it on the freaking table. That's the only chance you got at this point, Doug. Do whatever it freaking takes, all right? Whatever it takes. Right now, it looks like Isabel could possibly be the swing voter. I'm just going to shoot straight with her and tell her that I still need to be here to change my life. Can What's I borrow up? a moment of your time, babe? Yeah. Still to come, in a dramatic elimination, will it be the end of the red team? One decision I may not be able to compete with, but the other one I can't live with. And Allison has a startling surprise for the contestants. No way! My heart, as I said, is with you. And, like, I don't want to write your name down. But I have two girls that are depending on me. It's going to break my heart to send me home, but I, it would break my heart more for Holly and Julie not to know where my loyalty stands. I, I don't think I could do it right now at home. I think I, I'd be okay, but my diet aspect is still mm -hmm. not as good as it needs to be. I want you here, but when someone questions like where my loyalties lie. It, I know you got loyalties, but you are an individual. I know. And you know, that's what got you here, being an individual. This is an opportunity that I know B really wants, and I'm not too sure about Amy, and I'm not sure whether it's better to go with my heart or my head. I'm really not sure right now, but know that if I do write your name down, it's not what I want to do.
tonight, you are all at your first elimination as individuals. I know there are a lot of strong friendships here, strong alliances, but I also know that all of you want to stay here as long as possible. B, you are the last member of the red team. There must have been a lot of added pressure associated with that. Uh, yes, yeah, a lot of pressure. Just as I said before, I don't want to be the reason that the red team becomes extinct on campus. But, um, you know, I'm definitely um, grateful for the opportunity that I've received. So you do want to stay? No doubt in my mind I want to stay. I, I need to stay right now. Amy, what did you say to the seven voting tonight? You know, B is my closest friend here, and um, there wasn't much to say. There was no way that, that I was going to put him down, or I, I would never say that he needs to go home over me, because he deserves to be here just as much as anybody else does. Unfortunately, one person does have to go home tonight. So as we go around the table, each of you will cast your vote for either B or Amy. Nicole, we're going to start with you. First, I would like to say that the decision is always difficult. And I think this week was even more difficult because um, at this point, we've come so far. And no one deserves to go home at this point. But we have to make a decision. One person has personally helped me here um, since being on campus and have, has done a lot of stuff for me. And, I felt like I had an allegiance to that person, so that's why I voted for Amy. So, Kay, it's your turn. Um, there are two people here, and one of these people are hardworking, honest, fair, and has not complained since they've been here and deserve to be here. And that's why I did not vote for this person. And I voted for Amy. OK, those were some pretty strong words. Amy, is that surprising to you? Uh, it is a bit. After you know all we were, went through as a duos, I think they were a little harsh. That's her opinion. So she's entitled to it. That is two votes for you, Amy. Two more and you will be eliminated. Neil, you're up. You know, Allison, every week we come into the elimination room, um, I'm always the first person to say how these decisions get tougher and tougher each week. But honestly, I'd be lying if I said I felt the same way about this week. Um, for me, this was a pretty easy decision. I voted for Amy. Amy, that's three votes. One more vote and you will be eliminated. Julie, how'd you make your decision tonight? I'll be honest, Allison, I was really conflicted about this decision because I was going back and forth between my head and my heart. I think that, you know, every one of us came to this campus expecting to have to play a game, but not all of us came to this campus and expected to make the friends that we have. So I had to go back to square one and that is to vote off the person that I feel is the biggest threat. And that's why I voted for Brian. B, that is one vote for you. If three more people vote for you, you will be eliminated. Amy, one more person votes for you, and you will be eliminated. Holly. From the very beginning, I have always um, stuck by my strategy, which is to vote off the biggest threat. Just like everyone else here, I want to stay as long as I possibly can. This person that I voted for, I originally did not see as a threat, but over the last two weeks, I've seen a lot of strength coming from this person, and while I greatly admire them, for me personally, I still did have to vote for them. And the person that I voted for was B. B, that's two votes for you. Two more and you will be eliminated. Amy, you still have three votes. One more and you will be eliminated. Bill, what were you thinking tonight? Well, Allison, um, I thought that I would stick with the strategy of trying to vote for the biggest threat. Um, that way I could advance myself. And it's, it's selfish, but that's what we're doing here. 
The person that I voted for has played this game with the utmost of integrity, you know, uh, totally honest, but I do perceive them as the biggest threat. And that is the only reason um, that I was forced to vote for B. So B, that is three votes for you. And Amy, there are three votes for you. It all comes down to the last vote. Either one of you receives the last vote, you will be eliminated, and you will be asked to leave the Biggest Loser campus immediately. Isabeau, what were you thinking tonight? You know, I came to this game wanting the title. <laughs> and whatever happens from this point on for me, I want to leave this game the way I've played it the last 10 weeks. And that's fairly and honestly. It came down to loyalty or integrity for me. And I promised myself I would play with integrity. One person had my word and the other had my heart. One decision I may not be able to compete with, but the other one I can't live with. That's why I voted for. It came down to loyalty or integrity for me, and I promised myself I would play with integrity. One decision I may not be able to compete with, but the other one I can't live with. And that's why I voted for. Amy. Amy, that is four votes. There are a lot of strong words spoken tonight. Do you have a response? I feel like I was stamping the back. It hurts. I just uh, worked really hard the last couple of weeks trying to be loyal. And it's got him nowhere. But karma's a bitch, and what goes around comes around, so. Julie, Ollie, and Bill, thank you for being loyal. Thank you for making me feel like I was a part of a team. And uh, just realize that there's somebody on your team that you cannot trust who will look you in your face and lie to you. It was a last minute decision, Amy. I actually changed my vote because I went into tears and it did not feel right in my heart. I couldn't live with it. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that you are not the biggest loser. And it's time for you to go. Okay. You guys had a really close vote tonight, and you had a lot to think about. It's times like this that it helps to think about how far you've come. Perhaps the biggest success of all is that you have survived here for three months. <laughs> well, that's definitely something that, to my mind, deserves a little reward, which is why I have planned a surprise for you all tomorrow. Brian? Woo! Oh, my. Oh my. I'm proud I've made it this far, and I'm just proud of everything I've done here. I finally have a handle on this battle. I feel very successful and am blessed with everything that I've learned. I walk away with my head held high, knowing that I'll never forget this. I'm ready to go home and re-enter my life and be a mother and a wife. America, next time you see me, I'm going to be a smoking hot bikini mama. I'm just so excited to see the kids again. And I just miss my husband so much, and I just can't wait to, you know, hold them in my arms again. It's been really hard for the girls that, now that Amy's been gone so long, a few months now. They're very, very excited to see her, actually. Wow! <laughs> the way Amy carried herself was a lot different. I think she looked amazing. She really made a big change. I'm so overjoyed to be home. They are huge! <laughs> Mommy! <laughs>
My family means everything to me. You know, just being able to, to give them this gift of me being healthy, it's just everything. You're so beautiful. <laughs> I love my mom. You know, I want to be here with them as long as I possibly can, and I want to live a healthy life. I just want to cherish and enjoy every moment that I have. I'm just ready to like embrace life. Since starting the show, I have lost 100 pounds. The Biggest Loser has added years to my life. I was walking down a very dangerous path, being as heavy as I was with, you know, the, the diabetes and the heart disease that does run in my family. It's enhanced my life in every way. I'm more active. I'm happy. I wasn't happy, you know, being fat like that. The Biggest Loser is been a gift and I will um, I'll cherish it forever. I work out with my husband a lot. He's a very big motivator. He wants to, you know, see me meet my goals and um, his fitness background has definitely been a plus. I've always been into health and fitness so now that she's into it, it's been great. Uh, she's actually doing better than I am. Amy's change with the girls has been great. She's been um, able to do more things with them, play with them, run with them. We're happy at mommy's home. Mommy looks like different. I feel like I've got my life back. I'm comfortable in my own skin. I like what I see when I look in the mirror. I am definitely never going back to the Amy that I was when I started the show.